Hey everybody, how are you? Jen Morris here, coming to you live in Goderich, Ontario, Canada. And uh, guys, today I wanted to talk to you, sorry, my messenger is going crazy there. I wanted to uh, talk with you a little bit about you and the fact that you are a complicated human being. Um, you are a complicated entity and that you are completely unique. And um, I talk about this when I go and I do my public speaking and my education about um, keto, keto education and ketones. And um, a lot of people come to these talks because they wanna learn the science and they're looking for like maybe a quick fix on something. But I always, always like to go back to the basics and help people to kind of frame and understand that you know, we are complicated beings, very complicated, and everybody is very different. And there is never just one thing that is going to, um, you know, let me just move the comments here. So there we go. There's never just one thing that's going to um, fix all your problems, right? There's never just that one answer or one solution. Mind you, there are some things that can really help support you in everything that you're doing. So I generally start my talks off with this kind of little diagram here and it can be as complicated or as simple as you want because most people will come to my talks to learn specifically about nutrition and specifically about how they can lose weight, right? That's generally why people want to come and talk to me because they have some extra pounds on their body and they're really thinking about you know, what can I do about this? And there must be just one easy way, right? There, there, it has to be just one thing. And here's the thing. Yes, one thing can be the trigger or the catalyst to start a whole cascade of events to help you move forward in your fat loss goals, if that's your goal, or your health goals, if those, you know, if you want to get healthier. But the reality of it is, guys, that if you only look at things in isolation, you're going to be disappointed and you're also going to be misled because there's a lot of um, gimmicks and scams and things out there where people will be like, just do this one thing and it'll change everything. And like I said, there are some things, ketones being one of them, where you can really get a huge benefit from them that can move you forward in a lot of different domains. But you need to think of yourself, I like this diagram and I like explaining it this way to me it makes sense if it hopefully it makes sense to you so here you are feeling whatever you're feeling hopefully you're feeling good okay so feeling good is complicated right if any of these things around you are not working for you I like to think of this kind of like as a wheel and that's not a very good circle <laughs> but if you think about these lines as spokes in a, say like a bicycle wheel, and if any of these lines are like, you know, shortened for whatever reason, your wheel is not gonna turn very well, right? It's gonna be bumpy, it's going to be not very smooth, it's going to have a hard time turning. And so it's really difficult for anybody to get all of those spokes out in the proper length so that your wheel spins properly and smoothly. Very, very difficult. And sometimes one of the spokes will shorten and the other one will lengthen. And you know, it's always just kind of always like a juggling act, right? You can only, the other analogy is like, you can only have so many balls up in the air that you're juggling. So I like to explain this concept to people because I think a lot of times people beat themselves up when they're not getting where they want to go. Um, they're maybe focusing too much on one thing and not enough on another, or they're trying to do too much all at once rather than mastering one area first. So truly becoming like your own master and truly becoming your best self and really being truly happy and full and connected and all those good things it takes effort and it takes time and it takes a lot of trial and error. So um, again, a lot of people will come to talk to me specifically about nutrition, but what they don't realize is that I actually help people with all of these things because if I only focus on nutrition, 
I'm only helping you focus on one aspect of being healthy and better. And so um, people are often surprised when they come and talk to me that I start asking them questions about, you know, their relationships, their financial health, their, um, what it's like for them at home. Are they dealing with a lot of stress? Are they sleeping? Um, and again, you know, there's a lot of different things on here because we're all very unique, complex beings, right? So um, one of the things that I wanted to address today, specifically um, because in this time, in this kind of era that we're in right now, we're dealing with a lot of stress and we're dealing with people, people just are feeling anxiety and stress. And so this little thing here is like very short, this little spoke, right? Because we're so stressed out. It's just not working for us. I think now there's even more stress than ever before. So, you know, um, that is definitely an area that if you need help, I encourage you, please reach out to somebody, anybody, me, whoever. There are people who want to help that you can talk to. There's all kinds of helplines, guys. You do not need to be alone. So please reach out to whoever you need, okay? The other thing that I see happening when people get stressed and you know, like all these things, they're not just like kind of a direct relationship to you. They're also interconnected with one, one and another. So what I see is when people get overly stressed is then they tend to not be able to sleep, right? Sleep goes bye-bye. What happens when we can't sleep? Well, suddenly we now have cravings and we want to eat more junk food. And even though that might comfort us temporarily, you know, it's actually going to have a worse impact on us and create insulin resistance, which is not a good thing. It's going to cause all kinds of inflammation in our body. It's going to cause us to gain fat, which is going to make us more stressed. And then the next thing typically that happens is people will stop exercising or stop moving. So those are just some examples of like how one thing can trigger everything else from happening. So that's kind of the negative side of things. The positive side of this, guys, is that if you do focus on the things that you can control, right? I've talked about this before. Focus on what you can control, not those things that are outside of your control, because I find a lot of people get stressed and anxious because they're focusing on things that are completely outside of their control. Rather, on, rather than flip it on its head and say, hey, what if I focus on going out for a walk every single day? I can control that. I can get up off the couch. I can go outside, put my coat on if it's cold and go for a 20, 30, however many minute, minute long walk you wanna do. When you do that, you have just empowered yourself, right? You just gave yourself something awesome that you've accomplished. What is this going to do? This is actually going to set you up to start to feel better. When you start to move, typically you want to eat better because you understand when you're moving the value of putting proper fuel in your body. By the same token, like if you did eat something that you know, maybe you shouldn't have eaten or that was like super high in sugar, then for, you know, for Pete's sake, get up off the couch and go for a walk. Don't just sit there after you've eaten it because we can do a lot of great things for ourselves. If we do eat something, we can lower our blood sugar pretty quickly just by going for a vigorous walk, right? So that's, you know, just some examples of how nutrition and exercise kind of coincide with each other. And by controlling those things, because we can control what we put in our mouths for the most part, and we can control how much we move for the most part. That's Not sure what's going on. Hopefully you guys can hear me. If you can hear me, um, just drop a comment. So, or get sure what's happening. Sorry guys, where are we going here? All right, hopefully it's still connected. Um, if you are watching, Facebook is not being my friend today settings up here it says it's trying to reconnect can you guys hear me those of you that are watching can you hear me give me a thumbs up a little comment i think it's okay all right anyway so sleep guys um this is something that i'm super passionate about um making sure that you know i'm setting myself up for a good night's sleep and i'm going to actually do a whole series of videos on kind of each one of these things, but I wanted to 
start this video and just explain to you how they are interconnected before I get into each one specifically. So sleep is going to be my first one actually I'm going to do tomorrow that we're going to talk about how to optimize your sleep and how you can set yourself up for a good night's sleep. And I'm going to give you a hint. It starts by getting up at the same time every day, regardless of whether you've slept well or not. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, I've been guilty of not getting up when I need to be getting up. I'm finding that um, just not having somewhere to be at a certain time of day is keeping me in my bed a little bit longer than I should be, right? So um, I am actually committing myself to getting up at the same time every day over the weekend, even though it's the weekend, and I'm gonna be getting up and I'm gonna be setting myself up for a good night's sleep by doing that. The other thing that you can do, this is just a little tip on sleep, is get outside first thing in the morning. So if you can get outside and expose yourself to that amazing big bright orange thing in the sky called the sun and get that light in your eyes first thing, you will find that you sleep better at night. So. That way I can optimize, start to optimize my sleep. So tomorrow morning, get up, even though it's a Saturday, you guys might've had today off, well, we all have it off, but you might be working from home or um, you, know, you might have had Good Friday off. So if that is the case, you probably slept in a little bit and I guarantee tonight, you'll probably push back your sleeping time a little bit later too, which will make you sleep longer tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, which is also a holiday for some of us. And what will end up happening then is when you do need to get up on Tuesday, you know what it's like after the weekend, you're not gonna feel the greatest, right? So I challenge you this weekend to try to get up at the same time every morning and um, at least within a half an hour of um, your normal wake time, okay? So maybe give yourself a half an hour at most with your sleep. So the other things on this wheel, guys, that make a huge difference in our lives that um, you know will make us feel good or not, we're, we're gonna talk about purpose. Do we have something that we actually, um, that drives us, like a primary motivation in our lives that makes us do what we wanna do? A lot of people don't, and that's okay. And like a lot of people don't know how to find their purpose, so we're gonna talk about that and just find, you know, what it is that makes you tick. What is it that makes you passionate, right? We're gonna talk about whether or not you have supportive people around you or a community around you that believe in you, that lift you up, that empower you, not that push you down. You wanna be around positive, happy people that can actually support you, so community is important. We're gonna talk about financial health. Financial health is huge, especially in this time, right? How do we even begin to get out of the mess that we're in? I don't know the answers. We can talk about this. If you know the answer, let me know. But we can talk around some tips of how to maybe come up with a plan B, a plan C, a plan D, because nothing is secure these days, right? We need to set ourselves up to protect ourselves and to protect our families, to be able to put food on the table and keep a roof over our heads at the very least, right? Um, we're going to talk about the importance of having fun and the importance of playing and the importance of laughter. And I got into this, I got into this thing I posted on my wall today. I was very serious. Like, why is nobody commenting on or sharing my posts that are actually meaningful? Why is everybody just sharing my ridiculous humor posts? And, you know, here I am talking about having fun and playing. And that was, you know, my bad, I think that um, I just sometimes get frustrated when people don't hear the message that I'm trying to convey, which is to try to be your best self. So having fun and playing, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about relationships. Uh, right now, a lot of relationships are strained. We're not used to spending so much time with the people in our house, which is you know causing us to like discover um, new things about those relationships with people. And also, how do we um, nurture those relationships so that you know we're not... Um, we're not putting extra strain on ourselves or the other people that we have to be in close proximity to for so long, right? And uh, we'll talk about the spiritual aspect. Some people have a spiritual practice, some people don't. And um, we'll talk about what that means and how maybe if you're not a religious person, I'm not necessarily talking about religion here specifically, but just having something that um, is a practice um, that you can turn to when in when you know you're stressed or anxious or something or you need that support right 
So those are some of the things. And then of course, exercise and fitness guys, this is my baby. Um, if you want exercise and fitness stuff, just tune into my live videos every morning on 9.30 a.m. So we're gonna talk about all these things in isolation, but I wanted to do this video first to explain to you that they are all interconnected and they all need to kind of work together. And um, if one is off, then you probably will not be happy and you probably won't feel great. But having said that again, it's important to work on each one of them so we don't get completely overwhelmed, master one of them and not let those things go that we've mastered. Let's just say we've mastered nutrition, we feel amazing by what we're putting in our bodies, it's working for us. Um, you know, then just because we start working on sleep doesn't mean we neglect nutrition, right? So we have to develop these habits before we move on to the next thing, if that makes sense. And I really can't tell you which one is the most important to start with. I think the most important ones to start with are the ones that are actually um, the ones that are the simplest at first for people. So we do not become overwhelmed and you start to empower yourself, right? So um, with that being said, guys, um, I'm also going to, I'm just going to erase this here because the last thing I want to explain to you about all of these things is that and don't kill me for doing this, but I really need to let you guys know that our amazing ketones, okay, which are energy, are truly a support system, okay, for everything in your life. And um, I'm not saying this to, you know, push this on you. I'm saying this because... What happens is that I see so many people transform their lives because for the first time in their lives, having ketones in their body is giving them the energy to deal with that long laundry list of things that we talked about. So sleep, can't spell nutrition, right? That ties into fat loss or muscle or both, hopefully. It ties into stress. It's going to tie into community. It's going to tie into anxiety. It's going to tie into purpose. It's going to tie into financial. And I'm going to explain how um, having this in your body and being in a state of ketosis can actually optimize all of those things in that wheel that I just showed you before. So stay tuned, guys. This is going to be an ongoing series, and uh, I look forward to kind of working through this with you. Hopefully what I said makes sense. If you're just tuning into the end of this, go back to the beginning guys, and um, make sure that you listen in and hear what I have to say. So with that being said, guys, I hope you have a great good Friday, and I will talk to you all hopefully soon. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening, and um Happy, happy Friday. Okay, bye.